He says, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in the hadith, he's sitting with the Sahaba. He says to them, you know, I hear what you don't hear, and I see what you don't see. He says, verily the heavens have squeaked. He says, he says, atta sama wa hukka laha an ta'id. He says, verily the heavens, my brothers, they've squeaked, and they have every single right to squeak. He says, for there isn't a space for four fingers except there is an angel in prostration to Allah. He says Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that on top of the Kaaba is a house. There is a house that is on top of the Kaaba that is in the heavens. He says every single day 70,000 angels go in, make the wife and they never come back. Every single day, there's a new batch and a fresh load of 70,000 angels and they never come back. Allah, who is Rabbil Alameen, He's Lord of the worlds. Where are we men? Where are we? Where are we? And brothers walk around on the streets with a big chip on his shoulder and who is shagli? That I'm something brother. He has a tat on his neck, now I have to respect him. He's been in the gym for a couple of weeks. Huh? Heading up a couple of cycles of juice. His t-shirt, he's wearing his son's t-shirt, right? But because his chest and because his shoulders are coming out of the shirt, I gotta respect him, bro. He's something. He's something, you know, because his forearms are a little bit bigger than yours. Or maybe because his car is worth sixty, seventy thousand dollars chayyeh. So I'm kicking back, brother. What you looking at, bro? Le, who are you, man? Le, what are you, bro? Where, le, honestly, where were you 100 years ago? You're nothing. Let me akun shay Maskura. Allah says you weren't even in existence, bro. You didn't even exist. You didn't even exist. And you're walking around like you're something. Bro, your beginning was a nutfah. You were a piece of sperm. If you were on the floor, brother, I wouldn't have picked you up if you paid me. And we think we're something. There was a pious man who was sitting. SubhanAllah, you know, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he says it's amazing that how can the one who passed through the passage of urine twice have pride in his heart, man. <laughs> you forget where you came from, bro? <laughs> Do you forget? There was a pious man who was sitting and, you know, everyone's coming in and respecting him, mashallah. And so this very simple, ordinary man walks by and doesn't acknowledge his existence altogether. So this guy, you know, he was, he was, he was cut a bit. You know, he's pious, but everyone else is giving me status. And this guy who's a nobody, it's not like he's something. He's a nobody, walks by and doesn't even acknowledge my existence. So he gets up and goes over to the man. He says to him, do you know who I am? He says, yes, I know exactly who you are. He says, in fact, he says, I know you better than you know yourself. So the man buckles. He says, what do you mean you know me better than I know you? He says, you're beginning was a piece of sperm and your end is a dead carcass and in between you're a vessel that carries around urine and feces. What are you? What are you? Compared to Rabbil Alameen. So we say Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen